Good morning, guys. We are here. We are docked. We are ready to get off in St. Thomas. You guys know I've been here quite a few times in the last year. This is my third time here. The good thing about this one is where we're docked. So the uh, every other cruise, every other cruise uh, line docks in this uh, area here, I believe, except for. From what I understand, Celebrity and Royal Caribbean, they dock in Crown Bay on the other side, down there. Um, and we're in Haven Site, which is the uh, the other terminal. This is the, I believe the, the older one, but also the one that's more used by the cruise lines, just because everything's around here. Um, but, and I like this port a lot better, um, just because it's, it's closer to everything. So the last time, if you guys remember, me and Nick, we, we were on Oasis or Symphony of the Seas and it docked over there. We took a cab from there to about there, and then we walked all, all of this around to the other side so that we could um, take the lift up and go see the top. We're probably gonna do that today again just because they haven't seen it yet. But I uh, just wanted to give you an update in the morning. Last night I got in the room around 12.30. Uh, the club wasn't anything great because uh, everyone was, we, docked, we got here at seven o'clock in the morning. So people wanted to get ready and get up. Uh, they had to get up early to get off the island, enjoy it. We're taking our time. We leave at three o'clock, I think is all aboard. So uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna enjoy the day, spend some time on the island uh, and then we'll go from there and I'll let you guys know what we're doing throughout. All right, guys, we are here. We're on the island, uh, beautiful St. Thomas. Again, I've been here a few times this year, but uh, we're in a different part. We're in Haven Site right now, Haven Site Mall, and they got all their shops around here. There is, I don't know if you can see it, where is it over there? Diamonds International, a staple here in the Caribbean. Uh, almost every island has one of them, um, like high-end diamonds, high-end jewelry. The islands are known for getting jewelry and buying jewelry on the island. Um, that's kind of what they, they focus on. Um, all duty-free, everything's duty, tax-free, everything like that. Um, you just have to know that when you bring it back, if you, uh, well, to Canada at least, I don't know how it is in the States, but I'm pretty sure it's similar. You may have to pay taxes on it depending on the amount that you pay and how you do it, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, right now we're just walking around. It's hot out here. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see the sweat on my forehead, but it's, it, it's, it's pretty hot. Um, we're just going to keep walking around. We'll see what we do, see what the day brings us. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it for right now. All right, guys, you know where I am. You've seen it in the last videos, but uh, I'm here because these yahoos haven't done it yet. We're not so, yahoos. <laughs> You're a yahoo. So we're, uh, we're uh, oh, there it is. We're, gonna, we're going up. There's a beautiful seashore over there. And uh, we're going up. We're going to get some drinks. This is kind of where I got tipsy the last time. But, uh, that could happen today. Uh, none is going to yell at me if I have any drinks. <laughs> Uh, we're going up. Fine, There's the view. I have a few myself. <laughs> <laughs> take some pictures. Where's the ship? Guys, I just wanted to show you the video from up here, the view. So there's the seashore over there, and we just noticed the Norwegian getaway, I believe is what it is, is coming in over there. So you can see that started to come in. That'll be good to be here. And then I'll park right beside the seashore over here. Um, and then there's just a view here. We're gonna get a couple of drinks right now. A beautiful view overall. All right, guys, here we are. I got my drink. Everyone else got theirs. My mother's is strong. Mine, not bad at all. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember last time I had the banana daiquiri. Oh, like a light. This, not bad at all. There's still alcohol in it, but it's not bad. Um, I'll be fine with this one. But yeah, I've actually built up an alcohol tolerance on this cruise. Um, but I guess that's what the drink package does to you, but uh, yeah, cheers. As we are heading back down from Paradise Point, uh, going back down to, uh, I think we're going back to the ship now. Um, it's hot, but uh, so we're gonna head back down. Norwegian uh, getaway is here, it's docked. Uh, I'll see if I can get some video of that, but I think I probably have some already, but uh, you can see it in the back over there starting to come out. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys. Oh, there they both are right there. So uh, a beautiful view from up here. Um, definitely something you want to check out if you're ever in St. Thomas on a cruise or just stay in here, but definitely check it out. Walking by the Norwegian getaway now, just to get back on our ship, but I wanted to show you guys. Look at the uh, ropes course and the tree tracking thing that they have up there. The water slides over there that... Uh, the floor drops beneath you, and that, that's a pretty cool twist. But um, we're heading back to our ship, which is right beside it. 
These things are massive. I just, no matter how many cruises you go on, they, just the size of them always amazes me. All right, guys, we are here. We're back on board MSC Seashore. Look at the beautiful blue water behind me in St. Thomas. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm burnt, um, but uh, and I'm in a little bit of pain, but that's okay because uh, that's, that's part of vacation, right? Um, we're leaving St. Thomas. I can show you over the side right there. This is scary holding the phone over, but you can see the ship. Oh, yeah, we, can, you can't even see anymore because we're gone. Uh, but we are pulling out. We're, we're turning out of the... Uh, out of the marina here and we are heading back to our next port heading to not back not heading back yet heading to our next port uh Puerto Plata Dominican Republic I have never been there before um so that'll be exciting for me the next two ports I have never been to uh so it'll be Puerto Plata and then Ocean K which is their private island um but yeah I am excited to try those two islands out we are uh, just hanging out right now I actually crashed uh took a nice little nap but we're leaving the islands now and we're uh, off to sea for the rest of the day. We are here in the uh, main dining room. We didn't do much today. Well, we walked off the island and after that we didn't do much because we, we fell asleep. Uh, I'll be honest, we fell asleep. Uh, long day, early morning, but uh, we're, we're in the dining room. We're having some dinner. Um, lots of stuff on the menu. I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do. Definitely the pasta, definitely the shrimp. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna order some food. Uh, I'm hungry because I didn't eat lunch because I, I passed out. Appetizer is there, the crab cake, and my espresso martini. That is good. I am going to be getting those because they are good. Yeah, that's good. Alright guys, first main is here. The linguine alla bongole, right over here. Uh, seafood, linguine. Really excited to try this. I love seafood. Um, so I'm definitely going to be enjoying this one. Uh, it'll probably be gone in about two minutes. Uh, plus, I still have my espresso martini that I'm slowly working my way through. All right, guys, round two: steak, Diane, mashed potatoes. So excited to try steak! You know me, you love my meat. Meat is the best thing. I love it. All right, we're just on the top of, uh, I believe it's deck eight right now. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the. This is one of the main parts of the ship. You have the casino down there. More shops on the low deck below, which is deck six. And you got the Statue of Liberty here. The whole ship is actually New York themed. So um, everything has some kind of resemblance or theme going back to New York. Uh, Times Square is over there, pink piano. The casino bar is right below us. And this deck has some shops. Uh, we got the Live on Air bar over here. The sports bar is on that side over there. Um, and then we got the shops over here. You have like Swarovski, um, Effie, and uh, Thomas Sabo, all those kind of jewelry stores over there. Of course, beautiful decorations throughout the ship. Uh, there's my mom's shop, and you can see her. Um, but uh, yeah, beautiful. It's, it's really busy right now. The show just ended, so everyone's getting out of the theater. Uh, but it's, it's actually not too bad in terms of crowdiness and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's some more shops down there. Some more shops there. And then the Brooklyn Bar. Sorry, it's called the Brooklyn Bar. And then just a look down this way. There's the sports bar on the ship. You actually got some little nooks here that you can kind of sit down and watch your own TV on, your own sporting events. Right in here. So you can see you got your own area to yourself, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, we're in the Madison Theater right now. We're watching uh, a show called Coast to Coast tonight. And uh, it's supposed to be the best show from what I've been hearing uh, so far throughout the cruise. But uh, this is a theater, Madison Theater. Looks pretty cool. It's, it's one level, but it does hold quite a bit of people. So. Um, you do have to make reservations to come to the show. That's one thing I'll say. The reservations open up the day of in the morning, and then you can do it. I think it holds about a thousand people, so pretty cool. Guys, it's one o'clock in the morning. I just wanted to share with you guys. We are, or I am. Uh, they went to bed a long time ago. I'm here. We're uh, the Cabaret Rouge over there. That's the nightclub on the ship, and um, it's been pretty cool. 
Um, lots of music, lots of dancing. It's pretty pretty cool. There's different tiers, and obviously there's a bar, but really cool. But this hallway is sick. It's kind of trippy. Um, but this is the hallway to get to the club, which is right down there, the Cabaret Rouge. And then this way over here, you have the Manhattan Restaurant, which is a um, main dining room, but uh, I believe it's for a special tier of uh, of guests. But uh, just the, the design on the ship is absolutely beautiful. So definitely, uh, if you're looking at the ship, definitely obviously try the nightclub if you're into that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously the dining room on here is pretty cool too.